Okay, here we are back in Sentinels the Multiverse, and the mirror matches continue, this time against Deadline. So we'll be playing Lifeline, Luminary, Harpy, Commodore, and Akash. Overall, I feel Akash is best as the anchor of the team. The reason for that being is some of her effects end at the start of her turn, and they start on the environment turn, so the maximum amount of uptime is if she is at the end. And then I said we would do this with Marion Refuge. So otherwise, not too much to go into detail about here. Let's see what happens. This place... <laughs> the graphics are a tad rough, I'll put it that way. Now even Yanta attempts to stop me using Deceit. I will not be so easily swayed. This is for the greater good. The greater good, yes. I cannot undo my actions. Instead, I fight to atone for them. So what sucks is that there's not really a lot of reliable ongoing destruction here. So we're going to be eating a lot of his flip side. And as a result, he's going to vaporize a lot of the environment deck. So it's going to be tricky. Matter Manipulator. First time you draw a card each turn, you may use a power instead. Cosmic Immolation is to equipment of Bloody Knuckles, so you got to be a little careful. The thing is, this will not actually boost hero damage taken to you like Bloody Knuckles will, but the environment and villains will still work. So, based on what I have here, Alien Arcana is probably the best card for me because I can play the other ongoings, get card draws, and still deal damage. So, I will draw the Leyline Shift. Now we need to peek at people's hands to see what all they need. So far, I'm going to give it to Blade. I mean, Luminous. For this one, we have the Ancient Tome. Might look a little familiar to you guys. She's fine for cards. Commodora. Ooh, I even have the Helm. So we also have Maria Helena's plot. Whenever one of your equipment cards is destroyed, either draw a card or the Commodora deals each villain target one fire damage. You can look at the bottom card of your deck at any time, by the way. And I meant to look over here. See, so yeah, I'm giving the card draw to Blade. I mean Luminary. Backlash Shinner. Perfect. We also drew the Vitality Battery. So... I'm gonna go for the End Blade for the time being. So for the Backlash Shinner, whenever your devices take damage, this will lash out at them. I learned a valuable lesson from you. There will always be someone to punch my inventions. And then we're going to discard the top, uh, the top two cards of our deck, which fishes out some nanites. Go figure, right? And, wow. <laughs> Timely disruption. So you can destroy three ongoing cards, which are pretty important here. And you can draw a card for each card destroyed this way. He's our reliable source of damage. Our ongoing destruction, I should mean. So if we use the Ancient Tome, we can use this to fish out ongoing cards. We also play the Harpy Hex. Flox Care. Hmm. Like, all these are good to play. This is actually lower priority. We're gonna do the Harpy Hex for the time being. I'm going for the end glade just because I'm trying to draw the game out of it so you can see the cards and stuff. Gonna lead with the Concordant Helm as per usual. We wish to draw a card, which is the deck gun, which we can throw away later. Oh no, we don't have to worry about that. Anyway, there's. Was there something good in Luminary's trash? Because he's the only one that discard so far. Ooh, Triple Cross. Sadly, that's not what I'm looking for. So, yeah. This really doesn't matter. I'm giving it to Luminary just to sense he has something to play, and we'll draw our bottom card. Bottom card was Flintlock and Cutlass. So here we can scatter seeds. I have two seeds I can put in the environment deck. I don't know if I can actually protect the environment deck or not. We'll see. So two... three seeds. So... And then we can get rid of the rapid growth.
we're going to move all of our seeds over. And then put a primordial seed from your hand or trash on the environmental trash. We don't have any left. So we drew as the earth turns. Yeah, as the earth turns. And we also drew the attunement card. So that's interesting. Superheated water spot. At the end of the environment turn, deal with two targets with lowest HP, two fire damage each. And then if they are dealt damage that way, they can't actually hit anything. So sadly, my generator is not going to be generating much. Unexpected microburst. Deal each target two projectile damage and destroy one a hero ongoing card. Do I even have any ongoing? Oh yeah, I do have the Harpy Hex. So this doesn't really matter. Sadly, I cannot use a Doomsday device as long as that card's on the field. So hey, he does the shuffling for me. I don't know why the nanites are still alive. So no, those are still in there. I don't know if that's good or bad. So, Matter Manipulator, I'm going to play next turn. For the Vitality Battery, Non-Hero Target. There's only a few of those in his deck, and in this deck, there's four left. I'm going to get rid of the Leyline Shift. So I'm going to save this. I can use this to draw a device. I only have the nanites at this point. Oh, it's immune to melee. That's why it lived. Hmm. He has a couple good ongoing cards that we can try to get. The one I'd want... Actually, it looks like he only has two. Then what I was thinking of must be an uh, one shot. Yeah, oh well. So yeah, Dangerous Vision I'm not going to bother with. Let's go for our nanites for the time being. Discard the top of the cards, which gives us... Ooh, a Russian turret. So, Luminary Heal. For the Saber Battle Drone, it deals damage at the end of your turn, and then if you destroy your device, you get to pop something. So we'll leave that be. For the Harpy Hex, deals one target, one infernal damage. Yeah, we'll keep doing this for the time being. We'll hit him, and then we'll use Arcane Blast for the end of life. Draw cards, so that way you get two. We drew another Concordant Helm. And we have Ship Shape. The first time you discard a card, each turn you may draw a card. This helps you offset the whole sacrifice a card to keep something going. Pretty much this allows you to keep all your stuff going indefinitely, I should say. <laughs> Starting your turn, you may discard a card. If you do, put one of your equipment cards or ongoings in play on top of your deck and then play the top card of your deck. So if there's something that you need to go into play, that's your ticket. So we are going to play Ship Shape. And... Hmm. We'll go to Harpy. We'll draw our bottom card. I didn't see what it was. So this is Decision Point. This will boost your Primordial Seeds. I'm not really eager at the moment. This allows you to play the top card of the Environment deck and destroy it, speeding up your play. And then this one, whatever Villain card would be played... well, the key thing is this one destroys itself, just so you know. So we're gonna play the top card. 
Monsoon, reduce all projectile and fire damage by one. At the end of the Iron Man turn, deal each hero target one cold damage. If one hero target is dealt damage, destroy one equipment card. Goodbye, Monsoon. One with the land. No. He's going to do all the shuffling for us. Out comes the Squall Guard. So we need to kill him. He's going to hit everything. Start villain turn. Deals one irreducible melee and fire. That's not good. And the sap person's irreducible. I can't even use the stuff from our good Baron buddy on that. So discharge a life force. Destroy one environment card. That card was a target. Deal three targets, one infernal damage each. Sappers, there's just not a lot of other stuff to destroy. So for the matter manipulator... Do I want to use power now? Why is it offering me this now? That should be a glitch, because there's no reason... Or wait, does this give us a card draw? Ah, right there. I'm gonna say no. So I was thinking about using this for Kosh. This allows you to basically keep your seeds going, which is even more important against Deadline because eventually the deck's probably only gonna have your seeds left in it. Then again, I don't really need Harrow. Pew pew! Okay, I could destroy those. Actually, yes, I do want to do this. I have a plan. It may seem like a waste, but trust me, I have an evil plan. I'm the Luminary, and I will triple cross you. I won't even blink as I do it. So, this is going to. Ah, crud. He's the guy with the lowest HP, damn it. So, does this have to? Yeah. So yeah, I want to use a different power then. We drew the death laser. We'll have the luminary heal up. So I can use that to fish out more ongoing cards. This is the big one. So this is what it will block Night Mist's Oblivion Backlash. It can completely nullify it and then amplify the outside part of it. And then she has a poor man's Oblivion. I don't remember which one it is, though. So yeah, I'm going to do the Ancient Tome so that we can get more of her cards out. So we have Uncontrollable Flock. At the start of your turn, flip one control token. The Arcane one for the bird one. If you cannot destroy the card, if all the tokens are avian, destroy an ongoing or environment card. At the end of your turn, Harpy deals X targets, X projectile damage, or X equals the number of these tokens. So I'm going to play this one because that one's going to cause her to start swinging really hard. <laughs> Order really, really matters, but not for reasons you'd expect. So I can use this to give more hero powers over. I don't really have any powers I want to use, though. So let's get rid of the deck gun. Got the rudder.
Oh, I messed that up. Skip. Draw two. So now we want to play a card. We'll do this one just for some variety. And then if you want to see her bottom card, click on her deck. So we'll draw the Cutlass if we use that. So the one that I wanted to do was the Luminary. And we're going to put the Timely Disruption into his deck. So I want to use this one to... actually, hold on. Yeah, we want to do one with the Void. We're going to use this to play the top card, which was another Squall Guard. And then we're going to kill the second Squall Guard, because I don't like it. Nope, I'm cool. And the environment plays... Alright, it hits everyone. Some creeping mold. And then I don't get anything from hitting these guys, but keep in mind for some of Captain Cosmic's constructs that can be pretty helpful. For the Squall Guard... Oh, so this guy's on our side. I even notice. Probably shouldn't have killed the one. But then again, I am playing the villain, so give me a break here. Ooh. Okay, I have to give a card draw over to... Baron. Discharge life force, destroy an environment card. We're gonna do that. Then I'm gonna use this. So that will allow me to fire this off. We will get rid of the cosmic immolation, because I don't want to blow myself up yet at least. Second card draw is going over to Luminary, which is our disposable defender. We drew repair ley line. We'll fire this off at him. Now we need to use technologically stable. That allows us to draw the timely disruption, which I am now going to play. And I'm probably gonna have to cycle this card non-stop for the remainder of the game just to deal with his ongoings. Eh, yeah, we can consider the price of defeat from here on out. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna devise. So, eh, that's fine. Heal the luminary. I'm cool. And, gentlemen, it is time for the uncontrollable flock. I'm gonna fish out more ongoing cards. So, we're going to pull out the Applied Numerology. Can I play that, or...? Yes. So, she's going to hit based off of the number of the control tokens. We can't hit him, but who cares. I think she actually will start hitting the allies with that, given enough time. So for this one, we don't have anything to get rid of yet. We want to draw two. Hmm. So I could use that to get the Squall Guard back. I'm trying to think of who this would be the least destructive on. <laughs> the sad part is I have to sit here and actually think. Like, I don't have any real good powers, which I'm a little concerned about. I'm gonna do this. Once again, we're gonna shuffle the Luminary so that we can get the Timely Disruption out. 
our bottom card. As for the power, we're going to give this to Harpy. And it's time to start shooting. So pick something to change, the number of targets or the number of damage. So we want to increase this. So we can do the germination the first time environment card enters play each turn, either play or discard the top card of the environment deck. Then we can use that to cycle more seeds. How come Submerged Aquadome? This punishes you for using powers. Hmm, this is tough. So the thing about this. You shuffle the environment trash in this card into the deck. It goes off at the end of the environment turn, so it's not too bad if I let this go. I'm going to play the top card, which is the softball-sized tail. So yeah, we're going to destroy the hail. Drew some roots. Out comes the storm speaker. Start the environment turn, you may destroy a weather effect. If no cards are destroyed this way, play the top card of the environment deck. So that's not too bad. So we'll play the top card, we'll gamble. Ooh! So for the discard, we are going to give this to Commodora. We'll get rid of the Flintlock and Cutlass, which in turn allows her to draw a different card, such as the Cannon. Hurricane Shield, whenever a non-environment target enters play, deal at 2 projectile damage. That sucks. When a target would be dealt 5 or more damage from a single source, reduce the damage by 2. Nah, that's not really that good. It's going to really punish me for my devices. Comes unnatural disaster. How many did he draw? <laughs> he drew four. Wow. Okay. Play the top card of the environment deck. One hero may use a power. Each player may draw a card that's going to proc that one effect to play the top card. Yeah, we need this to go off so that I can delay him. <laughs> so I need to use two powers here. So I'm going to do this to draw the card anyway. And we're going to give that to Luminary so that he'll draw his Backlash Generator, he'll draw a Timely Disruption, and he can play that to buy us some time. Out comes that stupid Aquadome. Squall Guard. As for the power play, I'm going to give this to Luminary. Out comes a Regression Turret. So I want to save the Enclave tech. What we're going to get rid of is Unleash Energy. Yeah, we're going to start hitting the mold. So as much as I'd love to consider the price of defeat, I can use this to fish out a device, which I don't have. That'll give me a card draw. We could triple cross, but that's time's not right yet. I really want to get more devices out, but I have to use the Baron this way. So, this is going to destroy our crap. We want to get rid of that. The 
they shuffle their trash into their deck, that's kind of bad for the bear. Get rid of this. So the sad part is I can't use the regression turret on the environment because this allows literally any card to deal damage. My best bet is to devise. So in a perfect world, I'm going to get out my card that boosts device damage next. This will speed up her whole... Well, you'll have two instances where you deal damage based off the projectile stuff. Flip one token. So I can discard a lot of cards for a lot of damage. So we're going to play Lash of the Elements. We want to hit Deadline. Stop there. And then we're going to use the Numerology to block one of those. Do I have any neat ongoings left to play? Swift Summoning, we have out. Magical Bequest, where you give up Night Miss Samulin. I'm gonna do this because I'm looking for that card. So we need to lower this number to reduce it, so that we can still play. And there we go. You may discard a card to draw a card. And now we can summon the birds! I didn't see what that effect was. I missed something there. I don't really want to do that all over again, so screw. Destroy with Blade. Did he have five out? to keep that going. Ooh, way anchor. That one's a fun one to play, but it's a gamble. I'm going to use take time to pop that ley line. Fish out another timely disruption. And I'll just draw a card. As for the power, if I give this to Luminary, it's just going to get discarded immediately. I'm going to give this to Lifeline. I need cards. <laughs> so we get an unnatural upheaval, and we're going to give that to Luminary.
increase the sea damage. Rapid growth. It's time for as the earth turns. So I would love to destroy this. I don't know if her cards count as environment targets or not, which is what I'm kind of worried about, because I want to get the Strangling Root over there. End of the environment turn, deal the two targets with the two HP. Will this protect us? So the thing is, projectile and fire damage. I actually do deal projectile damage, so we're gonna get rid of the torrential monsoon. That's a building, not a weather effect. Shield and superheated water spout. Out come the roots. So we can use that to bind deadline. Then we can use that to bind the storm speakers. As for the discard here, we'll have Commodore do it once again because she gets to draw to offset that. Softball sized hail. Where are all the seeds, damn it? So the storm speakers are going to negate this. I don't know what that other building does, but I'm a little frustrated that when I finally got down to the seeds, that was it. So yeah, it really doesn't matter. Yes, I do. Okay, time out. Mary and Lightning Dome. Reduce lightning damage to all targets other than the target with the highest HP by 2. Increase lightning damage to the target with the highest HP by 1. So that's actually not bad for us. Plavukul Capital. First time lightning damage is dealt each turn, each, Mar each Marion heals for two. In the environment turn, reveal the top card of the deck. If it's a building or Marion, put it into play if not discard. Ooh, I need to get rid of that. That's gonna mess with me. Top card out. Stupid Aquadome. So we have to give up an ongoing card here. I know the perfect one to give up to. No. No. No and no. So this is gonna die on Akasha's turn, goodbye. So I need this to possibly block him. So I can use Enclave Tech to bring out the Infernal Detonator. So I can use Extract Power. I am going to use this for the Cryptic Alignment. We will get rid of the Discharge Life Force thing, even though that would boost the damage here. Three per turn is perfectly fine. We'll divert that into the Strangling Roots. Give the card draw over to Luminary so we can get our disruption so we have an ace up our sleeve. Drew another Enclave tech. Nah, I'm good. I'm not gonna pop that thing. So, it's a 50 50 shot of playing the cards here. The Sappers, two of the devices left are Doomsday devices, which are not gonna do much. I 
have no devices in my trash, so that's not going to be too helpful. How about if I consider the price of defeat? Everyone draws, everyone heals. This is so tempting, man. Yes, we have a dangerous vision, folks. We're going to get rid of one of the regression turrets. Stop there, because we only need to pop one deck. Get all according to plan, so the devices will start hitting harder. And we will... Ooh, we got them both. So we'll have one with the land take the hit. We can get rid of... So let's see. Okay, so that's going to discard it no matter what, because all that's left are weather effects. We'll get rid of that. Hasten victory. Heal luminary. Go after light deadline, damn you. going to call the flock to get Unin and Munin out. They're in my trash, damn it. Helps I pay attention once all has been discarded, you know? So I'm going to draw a card, which becomes two cards. Got the Mystical Outburst and the Elder's Training. So I can use this to flip one back. I can sacrifice one of my cards to flip it back, draw a card, use a power, or... Nope, that won't do anything. <laughs> Now the token flips. Hunan Munin allow me to attack that. So yeah, I could use those to further stabilize things, but that's no fun. I mean, stability is overrated, right? So skip that. So now we need to sacrifice for our temporal rigging. Since ship shape is limited, I'm going to get rid of that. Drew the rudder. Draw two. There's the figurehead, finally. Play a card. So I think it's time to finally use the cannon. If I wanted to... There's a lot of limited. Well, we can see that she has one equipment card. So you know what? Let's weigh anchor. As a limited card currently in play, it gets discarded, otherwise it gets put into play, and then we get to repeat it, since we know the timeless treasure's there, and the deck gun. Not the oh yeah, the sweet spot does go into play, but doesn't really stay. That's the thing. So 
So I'm thinking Hasten Victory. Allows me to speed up my card plays. So I'm going to use this on Akash, that way I can move a seed from the hand over. We drew Cultivation. And then since we have the Timeless Treasure, everyone gets to draw pretty much. We'll have... And we drew the other one. See, if we have Lifeline go, we can have him shoot. We're going to give this to Harpy. Got Lash of the Elements again. And we'll give this to Akash. Verdant Explosion! So Lifeline is going to play the Leadline Shift, so we're going to put a card into play ultimately. So yeah, we'll reduce the damage. So Deadline discards... they don't tell you what he discarded, it was a Leyline. Lifeline... okay, this sucks, they kind of should tell you. So we have the Master Manipulator, that's limited, so that's not really a loss. Luminary, just got rid of his Haste and Victory. Run aground. Shuffle cards, deal irreversible damage based on what's all in your trash. This one's limited. So the only one worth playing is Hasten Victory. Our top card was Dangerous Vision. So I will get rid of... Generator. Does he even have a Doomsday left? Yeah, I can't really afford to. <laughs> We're gonna deal a, da a target toxic damage. Skip that. So, deck. We are going to play the Explosive Reconstructor, which is going to fish all of your devices out of your trash and put them into play. Luminary. So we get to pull a device and play a card. So I'll take that backlash generator back. As for what I play... So if I do a hasten victory, I have literally nothing left, so that I technically don't want to do that. If I do that one... Pretty much I have all my cards in hand, it looks like. So I'm not going to be able to fire off any Doomsday devices just because I'm not going to be able to trash enough stuff in time. Harpy! Swift Summoning, no-go. Commodora. Combat Timing, no-go. Yep, that one counts! So yes. Play the top card of the environment deck, so whatever we play is going into effect immediately. So I'm going to play the pollen. We'll use that to heal Akash. Do I have anything in their trash? I have two cards, but I don't want either one of those out, so, <laughs> yeah. So I can use the Primordial Tree, or I can do Cultivation. This I can play during her turn, shuffle one or all cards from the environment trash into the environment deck, discard or play the top card of the environment deck. Could use this to fish out another seed. So you know what, let's get the tree out. Akash Flora. So I can sacrifice that to heal the tree. We'll do it. So 
so everyone heals. All of his stuff is already healed, but the tree can heal over its maximum, which is why I'm going through this slowly so you can see it right here. Akash Flora got one hit point. Now got two because of the sacrifice. So right here you can see it regains HP above its max HP at the start of your turn. Each hero may use a power whenever it does, the card hits itself. At the end of your turn, this card regains two hit points and two other targets can regain hit points, so you can have someone use a power out of turn. Overall, Lifeline technically gives us the most. We'll have Harvey do it, though. Harvey, make of the pew pew. Isn't numerology fun? And yes, I do want to reduce the damage. So you only can reduce it once, just so you know, in case you didn't remember from earlier. So we will do the Cultivation, so that will allow us to play the top card, shuffle one card or all cards from the trash into the deck, discard, or play the top card in the environment deck. I do have a seed here, so I can use that over there. Alternatively, I could... this is going to destroy itself. What I'm thinking is I want to destroy the capital, though. So we're going to give the Pollen Charge over to Akash Flora. We'll destroy the capital. Drew rapid growth. Let's see. I'm going to say yes here because we should be able to reduce this with Harpy. That will put my cards back into the deck. And then the tree we can use to heal her and her. And so we want to discard the top card to make way for our cards. As for what that card actually was, I want to see. Ooh, the capital. Sublime. So we'll destroy this, the hail, as well as the microburst. Out come the roots. Use that to bind him, even though it really doesn't matter. Then the storm speakers, as per usual. Unnatural disaster. Does he even have enough left? Two. Three. No! The important thing is it doesn't destroy the seeds because those come back to my area. And sadly, all of his crap is irreducible. So, order here doesn't really matter because you can either let the roots destroy the pollen. Or just let him destroy it. So that's going to heal everyone, even though I... Sh like, ideally you want to save that for last, but it's only barren stuff that's still standing. For the rest of this, doesn't really matter. Either put the top card of your trash under this card or move all cards under this card to your hand. The power is destroy all cards under this card, deal X targets two infernal damage where it's equal to the number of cards destroyed plus one. So, not exactly the most powerful, but hey. We'll get rid of that because this is ending this turn. Give the card draw to Commodora. Poke. No.
this could have dealt a lot of damage to him if I had it out. So I'm going to play this. So I can use that to play a device, such as these nanites. And then I can pull out the defender that I'm destroying. And I'm going to say yes just because I'm knocking the Doomsday device. <laughs> I'm going to be perfectly honest. So we'll heal that Doomsday device, heal this, and this. All according to plan. Three devices. I don't know about you guys, but I have to say Luminary feels like a better Unity. His stuff generally has better survivability, they combo off one another much better, and they're so much easier to play. Draw a card, use a power. So we're gonna use this. As for the card I destroy, I'm gonna pass on that. I'll draw the card, that'll give us a power play such as this one. Draw, by numerology will increase to two. And this is the one I want to see. Draw two cards, reveal the top card of your deck played, or discard it. That one can be very helpful for setting her up, it's just I had this to speed me along this time around. So we're going to increase that to 3 damage, and that's game, folks. Sadly, Commodora was in the support role here. She did an amazing job at it, and basically just let Harpy cut loose. <laughs> so, I don't remember who it was that did most of the heavy lifting in the Baron Blade game. I think it might have been the Baron himself, Luminary that is, with some help from lifeline with his axe. Here was the harpy. Hopefully next time Commodora or Akash can do it. So one of them is going to be next, then the other, and we're going to finish with the Matriarch. I don't even know if I can win against the Matriarch, but hey. We'll give it a shot. So that's number two down, and sadly it only gets more complicated from here.